fairy tale episode two to eight or 2014's episode 53. And what can we say? The gang have already head to the Sun Village, where of course is here's this a little bit half funny thing. Not so looks completely normal, but as soon as we switch to his screen, he begins to feel motion sickness. Maybe it would have been better if they would have just have animated him to be always like that. But that's no surprise. As they enter the village, here we see something I never suspected. The entire village is in pink. Or is it meant to be salmon, salmon-like red or bright purple-red, whatever. Because it turns out it's a city of giants. And uh, the first joke comes from Natsu, who screams to a giant, Big! Big! Looks at Lucy's boobs, Big! Looks at Wendy and says, Small! Big! Back to the giant, with Wendy, of course, just answering, Hey, hey did you say something about me right now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, maybe it wasn't really that funny, but it, it, but it, it at least was a funny sign. But the one who's not laughing is uh, Gray, of course, because he remembers the time where his most two important people sacrificed their lives for him. Well, maybe not in complete form, but... We see a flashback actually on when Ur became eyes. While it still had an emotional impact, the first scene had a more emotional impact than this one. This, now they just try to rush it. And you shouldn't, you shouldn't really rush such an emotional scene. He also remembers how old Tyr sacrificed herself. Because this recalls of Deliora from him. Then Natsu tries to melt this uh, weird pink-like ice, but he can't, and not ca neither can Grey. Then suddenly uh, we meet the three stooges. <coughs> I mean, Sylph Labyrinth, a treasure hunting guild, consistent of Lala the Hammer, Drake the Sniper, and of course I forgot who, who the last one is. Uh, uh, and. Uh, and why do, I, why do I call them the Free Stooges? Well, because they are... Uh, oh yeah, Hiroshi was the sword guy's name. Because of how they talk. Like, like you know, Cho! Da, da. I mean, even the uh, main characters are a little bit off when they meet them. Example of how their free stooging is like when they sing the treasure hunter and they come here and they uh, and they're here for treasure when the guild says they are only here to melt the giants they just look at each other nods and then the sun will begin to scream and they do it again when they say that we're treasure hunters we're supposed to take the flame because it's the flame they're after uh, as uh, they reveal they have a small amount of moon drip that may well, Melt the eyes, the fairy tale begins to chase. Unknown that a dark guild called Sukut's Eye is watching them, and uh, Minerva has joined that. Her greed knows no bounds, does it? As fairy tale can almost catch up to the free stooges, <clears throat> I mean, Sylph Labyrinth, they begin to, the Sylph Labyrinth begins to, to fight back, showing at least a little bit amount of skill. Lala is called a hammer because it's a hammer like because it's fist like hammer. Hiroshi the sword is uh, has a snake sword that can bend almost to his will, not like magic, but more like that one. And Drake the sniper, well, is a blood first sniper. Dude. Natsu is impressed, but uh, the fight has just started. Elsa stayed behind to try and find out how to melt the giants, but she cannot do anything. She even walks up a mountain that almost looks like a flame or a flower. But once she ups up there, she sees herself in the mirror. She has to transformed into a kid somehow. Once again, uh, that's basically this episode. Once again, this was... I, I like this episode. I mean, uh, as I said, they should just have added their same emotional impact as they did when Urs sacrifice. While it's still an emotional scene... You, it wasn't as great as the first one, but that, that's to be expected. The Free Stooges self labyrinth. Well, uh, 
they were just expect as you suspected. I mean, I read the chapters. So, um, what I did not expect though was that ice. Its color is pink. You gotta be kidding me. I never suspected it to be pink. And um, what more did I not suspect? Uh, uh, well, I suspected Elsa's voice to change when she turned into a child. But uh, I guess it's not that kind of magic or curse or whatever. Uh, sorry, whatever she has gotten. I mean, I know what it is, but let's not be let's be reasonable here. But yeah, I did. Spoilers: I did not expect this ice to be pink, but that's a story for another day. Meanwhile, give me your thoughts if you have any.